sacred covenant, therefore no man, woman, or higher order spirit or person can claim higher trust or ownership. Now that's important because when we get back to the inferior dead trust uh, estates uh, of the Roman cult, uh, we start to see that uh, no claim of any corporation or any body corpus of a dead trust can trump or top the ownership of the divine. Now, a true person is the second possible highest form of person, being the form of a living trust corpus, also knowing as the living body corporate being the divine property of a true trust. A true person of a true trust formed from when the trustee of the associated divine trust agrees to gift, grant, convey divine rights of use known as divinity into the true trust. A true person can only be formed when an associated divine trust is already in existence. How do we know it's already in existence? Well, you know what? In the absolute selfless abundance of the divine creator, he kind of got it right in managing the wave particles of reality so that under the divine nature uh, of form your body stays together because if if there if it was just random uh, then uh, now I know a lot about frequency I've been studying it for for over 20 years I've been 30 years as a musician I can absolutely attest to this we are in a super hologram dream of frequency. Nothing is separate from vibration. So therefore, there is intelligent uh, design in how the divine creator creates and also holds the force fields together to make you or the essence of you on earth, which is your avatar body. Uh, yeah, th that absolute essence of of uh, gift into that intelligent design is also part of divinity. A true person is owned by the true trust, which in turn is administered by the trustee being the living flesh and brain in accordance with sacred covenant. No lesser trusts, lesser inferior persons can claim ownership, liens, seizures, enforcements, or unlawful acts against the true person. So you see that in Canon 1841, what's being said here is that the conveyance uh, into flesh is the administration of the true trust. So in other words, you have a valid uh, living trust. It's a, it, and when I say living trust, I mean uh, is, is this your divine or mortal spirit expressed in trust to the living flesh. So as such, is you, the essence of you, the omnipresent existence of you, is the trustee. When a valid registration number from the great register is redeemed as recognition of the existence of a divine person, the associated divine immortal spirit consents and agrees in true trust to ensure the society of one heaven administers the rights and obligations of the members as trustees. Proof of the existence of a true person and true trust is through the issue of a valid born record as a divine immortal spirit being expressed into a flesh vessel. So this goes back to uh, how we started off the call earlier tonight uh, in, in talking about the live born record uh, in how two things can occupy the same space. So by getting uh, the, the registration from the Great Register and uh, the LBR, as you now have the evidence, which is basically a certificate of trust uh, of the true trust. And in Canon 844, any live birth record within an inferior Roman system, which issues a unique number for the flesh of a baby 
may also be taken as proof of the existence of a true trust and the inferiority of any inferior Roman person as proof of the existence of the flesh is proof of the existence of the divine immortal spirit. Terry, I think I'm just going to leave it there for a little bit because uh, I, I know the uh, the calls went way, way uh, over. We're, uh, we're now banking on almost two and a half hours here. Yeah, I think that, that was uh, been a really good discussion. Um, uh, we have a, well, we have one more question. You think you take one more question, then we can call it a night from Darlene? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Okay, yeah. thank you. All right, Dar- Darlene, I just unmuted you. Do you have a question for Brian? Um, yes, I did. Um, I was hoping that Frank would would have been on tonight, but nevertheless. Um, my friend is in foreclosure, and the sale has already occurred, and they did a presentment. So in one of the um, previous recordings, they mentioned the right of use. So when you, mm-hmm. redeem your, when you redeem your position as a tenant as opposed to an owner, uh, what steps to reinforce that position? Uh, well, it, again, as every every case is is uh, very unique, uh, I I also have a friend who's facing that exact uh, problem also. But again, as I can't help him with that because he's got to come to it and and come to his own competence. Uh, but the 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 issue of what you want to try and get here is is this is is by exposing the fraud uh, that you are a tenant with only use of right of equitable title, then therefore you have uh, what's known as a right of redemption. Because ultimately what's happened is the the landlord has stuck you paying all the bills and being the janitor on top of that and kicking you out. So uh, you now start to see that when you call a spade a spade, uh, that, that reversals can can go very quickly. One of the things that you can do is is immediately appeal any decision uh, because an appeal is an automatic out of pocket expense uh, and based on a deed poll along with uh, 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 I, w- I would say uh, drafting up a an ecclesiastical deed of conveyance of, of rights. Uh, and uh, I'm currently working on those types of deeds and in how to draft them. So the, there should be some examples up uh, in, in the next couple of weeks on on UK University. But uh, one of those things is uh, basically is you do have a right of redemption as tenant to bring your uh, arrears up. Uh, they cannot even at the point of sale and after the point of sale because again is that's an unlawful conveyance of a mistake of fact and you can use that in in an appeal right away to get the ball rolling okay um well thank you thank you darlene all right uh everyone thank you very much for joining the call tonight and our uh Apologize that Frank didn't didn't get to uh, make it on as he was expecting to, so I'm sure he's um, apologetic to to not being able to make it. Uh, Brian, did you have any uh, wrap up comments or um, anything else? Uh, yeah, thanks. I, I wanted to thank you, Terry, t- tonight also. I, I mean, it's it's a short notice, that, uh, and uh, I, I'm just glad that we can be there for everybody and and just know that it, it's uh, that. Is is truly uh, the sense of gathering of community starts at home. So so really work, uh, look to our own families and, and start to redeem ourselves with them first. And and we see that uh, we we can each be islands onto ourselves that can be uh, rocks uh, for for others. And and the more that you get competent with this knowledge, is be the teachers, spread this. Let, let let this know and and again is uh don't be fe- don't be offensive or stand take take responsibility it's when you pull yourself out of the nanny state of responsibility and start to stand uh with with the responsibility and competences you start to actually get that sense of self and origin back so i just wanted to wish everybody a, a, 
a, a great holiday. Uh, have safe journeys. Uh, I hope that abundance and, and uh, peace comes to everybody. Uh, and again, is uh, look to the, look in, look within, because we're all divine. So thanks, everybody. Yes. Well, thank you, Brian, for being on and for uh, stepping in for Frank. And I know he appreciates it. And as well as I and everyone. And uh, I think we covered a lot of great material tonight. So with that, everyone, we wish you a happy uh, holiday. And uh, I'm not sure yet, Brian, did you hear from Frank about next week? Rescheduling. Uh, yeah, I, briefly, I believe there will be uh, a call uh, just in between New Year's, um, and uh, is again we we've got the uh, divine water call on Tuesday, which will be next Tuesday as well, uh, where we discuss uh, uh, health issues because that's another issue as well. Is everybody's fa- facing remedy problems, but when you start cleaning up your body and, and paying attention to your health then uh, that starts to uh, resonate too. So we have those calls, and as well as uh, we expect, uh, Frank will be back uh, for uh, next week's call. Well, Brian, real quick, can you give the uh, call information for the Divine Water call since we have you? Uh, yeah, just a talk to you call as well. I'll, I'll add it into the uh, into the chat line. It's uh, it's it's the talk show is Divine. Uh, water 432 and you're looking for the divine water project so i'll enter that in that window so thank you so much very good thank you brian and thank you everyone for joining us have a wonderful wonderful week and we'll go ahead and schedule uh for next thursday as well so tuesday and thursday join Mm -hmm. in on talk to thanks everyone thanks